All right, everybody, welcome back, Commanders. I'm Steve. This is Command Center Wargaming. Wow, okay, guys, look, it's been a few, maybe two days or so since I put out a video, and uh, it turns out uh, grandpa Grandfather Nurgle visited me. Uh, so if you remember in the last video, I was basically going through doing the points breakdown, and if you watched it to about maybe the 50-minute or 40-minute mark, you would have heard me mention me getting a pizza. So guys, I ended up getting food poisoning, and um, so yeah, I was just I've just been too ill. I tried to cut a video last night on Battlefleet Gothic with the beta and everything, but it was just the energy just wasn't there. So I, I basically just decided just to leave it one more day. And look, I just want to thank you all my subscribers and all the viewers and everything just for being tolerant. Um, but again, the thing is, there weren't any major updates coming out either. So I thought it was just better to just have a bit of a rest. And, um, and come back on, onto the things, you know, from a fresh perspective and a little bit more energetic. Because, guys, I just, I was literally like, I just, I just wasn't, you know, I'm still not all the way there now. Like, you could probably tell I'm not my usual ah, self. But um, I'm getting, I'm getting back there and I'm even drinking this, not Pepsi. So, what does that tell you, right? So, anyway. But, um, yeah, so it's brutal. Um, I'm starting to get over it now, but, um, but it was some, some crazy stuff. So anyway, look, so today I want to talk a little bit about the, uh, it's going to be another like sort of list building tactical video. And uh, because I want to, something's come up and I've, I've thought of a really cool list and I've been talking to some guys online and that. And uh, I was actually having a chat to, uh, to a friend uh, and we're going to be lining up some games that I've got a cinematographer ready and we're going to start doing some battle reports as we've discussed we wanted to do. Um, but he's got to finish his army, and um, and then I've got to obviously find out what army he's playing if he wants to tell me, so that uh, so that I can finish my army or whatever. Um, but it's it's not it's not uh, it's not Maddie. So we we'll have we having a game with Maddie as well. Um, he's on the channel here in the comments. Uh, but uh, this is uh, another guy, um, so it's pretty cool, and um, and it'll be good. So I might might pull into GameCube, ask them if we can. Uh, set up in there and I'm, I'm sure they'll be okay with it and maybe we can have the game there and film it and everything which would be really cool so um so that's that but um yeah so look i want to talk about some of the some of the points costs and gyps and that and some of the things that i think might be strong in the new chapter proof and on sunday uh, i'll be or saturday i'll be getting the book sunday i got to do the, the prize draw video for the 300 i'm also going to be doing a vigilus book review i'm going to be doing a chapter proved um, with the rest of the points breakdowns, like with uh, Space Wolves and all that kind of stuff. Um, they might not be percentaged. Uh, that's up to Adamantium Wang if he decides to do it. Um, but I'll just go through them, talk about... I'm just going to give an overview of everything and just do a mad, thorough, like, chapter-approved video. Um, so obviously, we don't get stuff uh, in advance like other channels do. So I've got to sort of just review it as things are released, okay? So it's just the way it is until... You know, we get the channel to a point, um, you know, where we can get them to send us some stuff. Um, I've also just invested in a new tripod. It's quite a substantial amount of uh, investment. Um, it's, it's, it's a new tripod and I've developed a rigging system where I can have like a, an overhead 180 degree um, arc so that my camera can come straight down onto the tabletop. So when I'm, I'm doing a review, um, it will actually, or a painting tutorial or something, I can actually be looking, I can give you like a straight 180 view of the content. So you're not looking at a 450 or over the shoulder or whatever. I tried the Steve Vision. Um, I remember Real Gits commented, he said, oh, what happened to Steve Vision? It was something I was trying with a GoPro, but I'm just, I'm just not happy with the GoPro's quality. I was using the 4K one and it was just like, nah, you know just not buying it i don't know it's because maybe i'm a bit spoiled with the camera gear i use but um i do i do do a little bit of film work as well but anyway i'm not going to digress but um so yeah yeah so i want to talk about this sort of like sort of like you know formation this this tactical formation i i came up with and uh, i actually came up with it and then i was reading online some people were talking about similar things and then I was reading along, I think his name was Stephen Kirk on Facebook or something like that. Um, and he was saying, like, he gave me the idea to, like, add apocryphies to it. And, you know, because everybody's going on about, like, you know, Calgar going like, oh, man, Calgar's so strong. He's got, like, this, you know, 
eight wounds and he's half the damage and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you run these Vitrix Honor Guard with Kalgar and, and, and he's, he's such a beast. And, he, you know, and he's got, you know, he's like a Gilliman Light. And this is true, 100% true. But I'm telling you, I reckon I'm going to theorize a, a combo right now. And I want to run this combo and I want, to, I want to try it in some games. I've got a few other surprises I want to run in conjunction with this. But I'm telling you, so Calgar's great. You know what? And I might run Calgar as well. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, yes, Calgar is, is a mini Gilliman. He's a mini, he's a Gilliman light. But here's the thing. If you've got a Gilliman light, why not just take the freaking Gilliman? Okay? Now, he's 400 points. Granted, okay? But what you get, now it's like, oh, it's just one extra wound and all that. No, 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 no. You get, you get, so you get the three up inval on him, right? You get the ability to roll, right? Then he comes back with six wounds, right? But more importantly than that, is you're going to be re-rolling everything. You're going to get an extra three command points on your thing, right? So even with that, I reckon take Gilliman, okay? And before you think, oh my God, Steve, he's Nurgle food poisoning. He's gone crazy. That's so much. He's going to take up half my army. Guys, when you look at what this thing, what this combo actually does and what it might actually sort of like... Um, you know, if it's played correctly, I think it could be pretty freaking broken, man. Um, and I've also just realized too, guys, so, okay, so Storm Shields are like two points. Every single Death Watch veteran that doesn't have a bolter can, stay, to, can take a freaking Storm Shield, right? So I dare say that, now I remember reading the rules, it doesn't say anything about Storm Bolters. On one hand, it just says Bolter, all right? Now, I need to fact check that, but even without it, even if you're just giving them melee weapons, right? That means you can literally, for two points a model, for an extra, you have like a 10-man squad for like another 20 points per friggin' veteran squad, you can literally be giving that squad... Those Death Watch guys, and I'm pretty sure they get an extra attack as well, like the veterans, you literally be giving them a three-up invol. How's that? How's that? I don't want to swear. It's YouTube. Tell me that's not broken. Now, I've had some other things. Lehman Russ, as we're talking about some Space Wolves on the channel as well, right? And I was saying that, uh, okay, there weren't many point decreases, you know, for Space Wolves, which is true in the base. But here's the thing, guys. It's the, the deductions in the war gear. So think about it. Like one of the best things about, you know, like the, I mean, you got the Space Wolf Terminators. You're re-rolling, you're re-rolling, um, you're re-rolling the hit, right? And then you get this, this, uh, this guy over here. I can't reach. I got my film light in the way. Um, you know, it's uh, Alfric or whatever his name is, or Arfric, the, the Terminator commander dude, right? Like literally him adding a plus one attack to everyone. You're giving them storm shields now. You're giving all those Terminator storm shields. You're going to get another Terminator in there. All right, that's going to be some pretty epic stuff, right? So in that way, keep a lookout for this stuff. And because um, I think that might also go for your Thunderwolf cavalry. Think about it this way, okay? Um, if you have Thunderwolf cavalry, because it's only the characters has gone out of ten anyway. But just a normal Thunderwolf cav cavalry with storm shield. That's just two points now. You're saving it. So you give all your cav, you know, Thunderwolf, uh, a Storm Shield. So your Thunderwolves are just going to drop. You're just going to drop in points. And uh, I'm not sure. I mean, it looks good for me. It's good for me because I'm, 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 I'm an Astartes man, right? But uh, I don't know, man. I reckon there's a lot of jipping to be done. And <clears throat> anyway, sorry. But anyway, so back onto this list. Hang on a sec, guys. <coughs> oh, holy crap. Oh, hopefully I don't offload in here. Oh, wow, I'm still recovering. Anyway, so um, back to the back to the list, right, here that I was talking about, okay? Um, okay, so just hear me out. You have Gilliman rocking up, right, with all his stuff. Nine wounds, wounds, three up in vol. Forget about the command points and the re-rolls and all that kind of stuff for now. 
the dude is a beast in close combat. Like he will he will smack the crap out of like most things, anything really, like with his sword of the emperor. Okay, um, so you've got that there. He's four hundred points, and yes, it is like nearly quarter army. This Vitrix Honor Guard here, okay, they're only 35 points each as far as I know. Now, this is just what I've seen looking at the rumors and that, but I've seen it on a few channels, I think, and it's confirmed that I've seen it. So, I haven't actually got the book in front of me, you know, saying like, oh, yeah, this is what it is, you know, but I'll have it soon. And like I said, I'm pretty sure they're 35 points each. These guys are freaking free wounds. Three wounds, okay? There are two up save. They have a three-up invol themselves. You put these guys in with Gilliman, okay? So Gilliman's 400 points, right? He's got nine wounds plus a three-up invol, okay? Plus, potentially, he's got another six wounds. So that's why, what? 10, 11, 12. So that's like, like yeah. So you so so you got all that, and then you add these guys on. You add another six wounds to him. Because each of these guys is packing another three mortal wounds. Right? So that is so that is that is crazy. So, you know, on average, Gilliman's gonna have like 12 wounds. Because think about it, right? You he goes down, he, he gets stripped down from his nine wounds. He goes down, you got a four up to bring him back, and you could command point that role as far as I know, because it's not a game-changing thing. Um, just comment down below if I'm wrong about that. But even if I am, who cares? Even if it's still worth it. Let's say on average, you just roll a three, okay? He's got 12 wounds, right? On average, okay? Yeah, 10, 11, 12, okay? So, not, so 12 wounds on average. If you get a six, right? It goes up even more, okay? It goes up to like 15 wounds, okay? So yeah, 12, 34, 15, okay? Now, so just say, don't, you don't roll a six when he gets back up, but just 15. You get your Victrix on a guard coming on. Two of these guys, you're automatically for 70 points, you're giving this guy another six freaking wounds. Okay? That that he that these guys can literally take off him, alright? And they take a mortal wound on a two-up, they take it as a mortal wound on them. So you're essentially adding another six wounds to Gilliman, right? On top of all this, right? Now, here's the thing. Then you add an apocryphy, right? You add an apocryphy with him. Now, so here's the thing: Gilliman's a character. Your Vitrix on a guard aren't though, right? So they can be picked off, okay? But Gilliman's a character, okay? So, but that's okay because you're just here to protect Gilliman. Anyone who's shooting at these Vitrix guys, they got a two up and they got a free up invol anyway. So you want to be drawing fire, okay? And remember, I'm going to come back to this in a second. This Vitrix on a guard, there's nothing here, boys and girls, that says that you are only limited to one squad of these guys. Alright? You can have up to three data sheets or whatever it is. Because here it says unit contains two Vitrix on a guard, so you could have six. You could have, you could have six actual formations of these Vitrix guys, so you could actually have two backing up Gilliman, Two at backing up Kalgar. You could have Kalgar coming in the flank with some friggin' Terminators or something. Crazy, right? But anyway, we'll get to that in a second. So we'll talk about this Gilliman thing. So Gilliman, obviously, you can't transport him. He's still moving eight, though, but who cares? You don't need to. Because he's just going to walk down a table. He's going to have his two Vitrix Honor Guard in front of him, right? Giving him his wounds, right? Then you're going to have an Apocryphy there. Healing him or his Vitrix on a guard for D3 wounds a turn. And if you wanted to get like freaky deaky, you could have two Apox there for double the, 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 the smack, right? I don't think I, like, I'd be worrying about a chapter ancient at this point, but you might think about it when I tell you about this next thing, right? So these guys are coming down. Now, I thought of this, that's like, guys, that's like 500 points. Maybe the Apocryphy. That's like maybe 520 points. That's nothing. That's a quarter of your army. That thing, literally, even if that, that gets destroyed, right? You are literally going to deflect firepower off a quarter of your freaking army, man. It's going to be so threatening and that's going to, it's going to divide and conquer. That's going to allow you to like do something else somewhere back to strap the player. So even if he's going to, like I'm telling you now, I'm telling you now. 
they will have to focus like at least, at least, if they go first, they're going to have to put at least three quarters of their army into, into bringing this, this little thing down here. Okay, I'm telling you now, and they will, because when they see Gilliam in there with these two guys, right, coming down to Chinatown, they are going to freak out, okay? So they're coming down, right? Then here's the cherry on the cake, guys, and this is what I thought. So why not put in five to ten um, Primaris uh, Hellblasters? Okay, so I know because 10 get a bit expensive, you could put 5, but I would I would invest it. Because here's the thing, see Gilliman's re-rolls, you need to take advantage of them. Because when Gilliman's moving up, like, and you've got your Vitrix Honor Guard coming up, right, they're going to be there as a distraction. And once you get them there, oh, they're going to slice like 300, right? But, this is like, you know, coming in at 4 attacks each, you know. But, here's the thing, you've got to get them there. So until like turn 2, if you're lucky, maybe 3... It's going to be hard to deliver them. But let me know in the comments down below if someone could think of a better way to deliver them. I don't think you could transport them because Gilliman's a monstrous creature, not infantry. The Vitrix Guard you could transport probably in a... They are Primarsa, so probably in a Redemptor. Uh, sorry, a Redemptor? No, sorry, a Repulsor. Um, the... Yeah, but the problem is really Gilliman. So, you know... <sighs> Uh, to my knowledge, you can't deep strike. There might be a stratagem somewhere. You might be able to do something. Or maybe, uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you can work out a way how to get this force up the field, even if it is on turn two. Maybe, uh, 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 can, can Grey Knights uh, cyclically gate other units up the table on turn two or turn one even that aren't other Grey Knights? I'll need to check the codex for the keyword, but if that's the case, what you do, just take a friggin' anyone, take like a friggin' five-man interceptor squad, just for that 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 friggin' uh, gating psychic power, just for one thing, just to shunt him up the board. I'm pretty sure it's Grey Knights only, but I'll need to check it. But anyway, that's not my point. So you gotta you you gotta put in ten Primaris um, Hell Blasters in that unit, okay? And you 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 make them assault. You make them assault. That means you have this bubble of death walking up the table. While it's walking up the table, you're spewing out, because it's assault weapon, they get two shots, overcharging, two damage, right? Rerolling everything because of the Gilliman, just smacking it out down the field. Guys, you cannot leave. It's like, so it's like this. You cannot ignore that because it's going to smack the crap out of you. But if you attack that, you've got to focus everything on it, and it leaves the other just over three quarters of your army to do whatever you want. You can feel whatever you want, guys. Just a whole bunch of tactical squads or whatever, rocket lawn, whatever it is. Get terminated. This is a thing. This is what I'm going to do. That's like, your, that's like force A, right? Coming down the table. And then evasive flanking maneuvers, right? Then you got Kalgar, frigate, he's 200 points. Give him another two of these guys with an Apocrypha, it's 300 points-ish. And with, with another battle force coming out, have them come in, like in a, in a friggin', uh, friggin' uh, 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 Storm Raven, or even put him in a Land Raider Redeemer. 180 points, 10 boy, uh, Primaris, because Kalgar's Primaris. So he'd have to come in there with... Yeah, again, transporting. Look, I haven't thought about the transport yet. So, anyway, I mean, look, then you think about your combos, right? Imagine doing that and then allying this army up with some freaking smash captains, right? Having them rock out and you've got literally smash captains hammering you in the first term, a Grey Knight Grand Master gating himself up the thing, hammering you with his crap, friggin first turn then you got gilliman walking up the field because that's three detachments so you can have that it's three factions right and then you got gilliman coming this way and friggin kalgar coming that way because they're both ultramarine they're part of the same force so um yeah so many anyway, guys um because like i said like the rules are here i've already gone over the rules so i'm not going to read that out to you but look i just wanted to share that that tactical analysis with you and that strategy, and uh, guys, I'm back in, I'm back, we're making vids, and we never stop making vids, but like I said, like there's been a, a you know, a couple of days gap, and uh, I, I do apologize, but 
It's, I, I've been very ill, okay? So um, I, I literally just couldn't get out of bed. I, I even tried. I tried to make a Battlefleet Gothic. It was just... And I was just like, yeah, you know, whatever. And I, I might try to do that again. Maybe do an extra one uh, tonight, whatever. Um, but I don't know. I think the computer game ones, they don't do so well on the channel. So I don't want to be uploading stuff you guys don't want. So, um, look, if you want a Battlefleet Gothic vid, if you think it's a good idea, like just on the new game and everything, just talking about a bit of a playthrough, um, let me know in the comments down below. And, uh, guys, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the little red uh, subscribe button notification and the, the bell and all that. And uh, all good. If not, thank you for watching anyway. And I'll catch you in the next video, everybody. For the Emperor.